Arena! Hey, 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 Chris, and we found another Rated Chatter Legends video. Guys, tonight we're gonna test another champion's better. Some siblings. Okay, who am I talking about? Who am I talking about? It can only be Hanso, Witch Hunter. A lot of events gave him for the past days. The guaranteed from the Champion Chase yeah. event. The Prison Shorts. The 10x. So, many people got him. And also, his sister, Greto Hagbane, the Fusion. This champion was the latest fusion on Ray Shadow Legends. So, they have skews that have interactions together. The passives and, and the A3 and things like that. Also the A1. So, we are going to test them. So, let's start from the heat. Let's see if they are worth. Let's start for Hanzo. Okay, he's kit. He has a 33% ally attack in arena battles attack aura. Interesting. Interesting. He's A1. Attack one enemy has 50% of chance of placing the biggest version of weekend for two turns. If his sister is on the team, attack all enemies. Okay, so that's an AoE if you have his sister on the team. With the same... Oh, with lower amount of chance of putting the same debuff on all enemies. And places an extra hit on enemies under any debuffs. Okay, so if Greto is not on the, se on the team, it's a single target. 50% chance of weaken. If Gretel is on the team, it's a AoE with 25% of chance of placing weaken and double hit on enemies under any debuffs. Interesting mechanics. A2. Attack one enemy two times. We ignore a shield and unkillable. Interesting. Grant an extra turn if the, this attack kills an enemy. If that has good damage. Can be interesting. A3, I think is the most important skill on his kit. Attack all enemies will ignore 50% of each target's defense. Also, increase the cooldown of a one random skill on each enemy by two turns. Okay, only one random skill by two turns only. Not a good skill. But if Gretel is on the same team, We'll ignore the double amount of damage of defense, 30% instead of 15. And increase the cooldown of all enemy instead of one random skill on each enemy. It will be all enemies skills by two turns. Okay, if Gretel is on the same team, this skill is good. And this cooldown increase effect cannot be resisted. Okay, <laughs> you need to pair both. We, we, you need to pair both because this skill can be very, very powerful if you have both on the team. The passive, Brotherly Bound. Reflects all fear, passive effect. Reflects all fear and true fear debuffs from this champion to the attacker. If Greta is on the same team, also reflects all fear and true fear debuffs placed on her. So, this is a Hydra counter mechanic. This is a very interesting kit for Hydra, this A1. This A1 seems very interesting for Hydra. Because it's an a on Hydra, it will be probably always an AoE with double hit. So, seems interesting. And there is also this skill that ignores defense. It can hit good, probably. We don't know, we're gonna test. But the AoE that ignores defenses. And uh, the double hit A1 with Weaken seems interesting. And there is an active effect on this skill. If Greto is on the same team and is killed by the enemy, instantly activates the A3. 
that's a cool mechanic. That's a cool mechanic. So, how are we gonna build Hansel's Mastery? We're gonna build him. Almost this way. We're gonna bring some accuracy to him and cycle off magic so he can cycle fast to the skills. At the same time, we are going We are going this way here with Cycle of Violence and Cycle of Magic to true we got Helm Smasher because we want the extra accuracy in case his sister is not on the team and we also want him with Cycle of Violence and Cycle of Magic to try to cycle fast through his skills most important skill is the 3 probably so we want him to have this skill as fast as possible. How we are going to build him? Let's see on how Hades. Okay, how Hades at first here. Mm. Let's go for Hanto. I want this champion. I want the champion to be built in damage mode with 250 speed in okay damage mode presets gonna let the way it is battle I'm gonna put 5k defense here and 100 and 20k HP stats I only want 250 speed let's work with this you can lower this if you have a um, less end game account slots on the top ascensions we want to attack on all of them on the gloves we want critical damage as ascension we want attack percentage for chest and we want attack percentage or speed for the boots. On the main stats of the boots, speed or attack percentage. On the main stats of the chest, accuracy or attack percentage. On the main stats of the gloves, only critical damage. Only critical damage. Okay. On the ring, attack. Let me move this. We're gonna use attack as ascension, critical damage as ascension from the amulet, and attack or accuracy as ascension from the banner. I only put critical damage here. And I will let the other opens because we are going to use special sets on him. And we might not have all the pieces from all that kinds. But if you have everything, choose only attack banner. And only attack on the ring. Sets. We want him on Savage. And Stone Skin. Savage and Stones in four pieces. Glyphs. We don't have glyphs. But if you have, go for attack flat. Go for attack percentage. Go for some accuracy. And go for some speed. Okay, let's test it. What else are we going to use on him? Let's equip in game. One more thing about him, if you're going to use him on PvE content, you should bring accuracy here to the minimum of 400. 
if you have a very powerful great hall you can make it less depending on the amount of accuracy you have on the great hall for normal arena and from live arena and depending on the content that you're going to use him for example you're going to use him on hydra nightmare you don't need that much if you have a fully completed live arena great hall and uh, class arena great hall so control your accuracy based on uh, which content you want to do on the PvE for him. On the PvP, I'm not going to place any accuracy because I'm going to try to use him with the sister, both together. And we're mainly going to focus on his 8-3. So, let me go back to the build. And equip in-game. Okay, that's the build you're gonna use on him. RTA by Kurisan. Save. 7.8k attack. 2.1 defense, very low. 38k HP, very low. 238 speed. Not so good, but not so bad. 100% critical hate. 314 critical damage. 150 accuracy. Let's try. Let's try what we can do with him. But first, let's check his sister. Hanto. Oh, sorry, Greto. Let's start. Okay, let's check his sister before. Let's start with the A1. Attack one enemy has 50% of chance of placing decreased defense. Biggest version. The same as the brother. The brother put weekend, she puts decreased defense. Has 25% of placing, 60% decreased defense debuff on all enemies for two turns. Also place an extra hit against enemy enemies under any buffs. Okay. So she has exactly the same mechanic of the brother, but instead of single target half 50% of chance of weakened hit, she has decreased defense. And when the brother is on the same team, becomes an AoE that can do double hit and put decreased defense instead. And on her is against all enemies under buffs. I think her brother is any debuffs. Interesting, more interesting for Hydra. Let's check the other skills. A2, attack one enemy four times. Like I said on Garog, um, single target skill or multiple hit skills with more than three hits, these kind of skills are extremely rare. The first hit will ignore 10% of the target's defense. The second hit will ignore 15%, the third hit will ignore 20%, and the fourth hit will ignore 25%. So it's a progressive damage skill, interesting. If this attack is an enemy, resets the cooldown of this skill and fills the turn meter of the champion by 50%. Interesting mechanic. So she can kill someone in a single target and get half of her turn back interesting a3 attack all enemies decrease the turn meter of all enemies by 25 percent if hanzo is on the same team decrease the turn meter of all enemies by 15 percent and this effect cannot be resisted resisted then fuse the turn meter <laughs> by 20 percent for each enemy alive after the attack Okay, so she got a turn meter skill. Her kit's based on turn meter control. Interesting. Let's see the passive. Passive effect. This champion turn meter. Fuse this champion turn meter by 50% when never an enemy is granted an extra turn. So she's she also can have a 
counter mechanic to X a turn. If Hansa Witch Hunter is on the same team, also fills a turn meter by 15%, by 50% whenever enemy is granted an X a turn. So she fills both her and his brother, her brother. But it's a. It's interesting, but not effective. Because if the opponent already got the extra turn, he's already going to do his action. You won't cut him in the middle of his turn. So it's better than nothing, but uh, at the same time, it's not very impactful. At least at first sight. Doesn't seem an incredible team. Active effect. If Hansa Witch Hunter is on the same team, and skilled by the enemy instantly activates sacred ritual. So she instantly uses the A3 if her brothers die. She gets increased ally attack in all battles by 30%. Her brother is only on arena by 33%. Hmm. I don't know what to think about this kit. I don't think it's very powerful. I don't think it's very powerful. Maybe on Hydra. But even on Hydra, the turn mid mechanic won't, won't be that effective. Her only good thing is the A1. So, we only have hope for her to hit like a truck. Let's build her. Okay, we can let her kit be this way. We can use this. I, I want to change these masters because it's already built like this. But you can use that the exactly same master as we use it on Gretel, on Hanto, on Gretel. Exactly the same, if you want. I even prefer the other one. Okay, so you can keep these masters that you're seeing here, but you can copy the ones we used on Hanto. I think the other ones are better, in general. So, you can keep this one, I'm gonna keep that just to do not spend resources. We don't have many gems. But, if you want, copy Gretel's, uh, Hansel's ones, because they are better. Okay, on set. Let's try to take a little advantage of her speed. Let's go to how Hades Extractor. Growl, she's already here, Gretel. Let's optimize. Damage mode. Presets we don't care. Configure we don't care. Battle. Oh, configure let me put here to zero. Battle. Let's put 5k on the defense here. Target defense. 120k HP. Stats. To try to take advantage of her turn meter mechanics on her skill. Let's try to use her on 300 speed. I won't put accuracy with the same reasons on Hanzo. We are building her for PvP content, so we don't need much accuracy if you're using both for the same team. But if you're using her for PvE content, use the amount of accuracy that's need for the content that you are doing use accuracy only if you're going to use her on pve content on pvp you don't need slots here the same as hansa we want attack on every top piece ascension critical damage on the gloves attack percentage on the chest and speed on the boots from the main stats of the gloves, we only care about critical damage. From the main stats of the chest, we only care about attack percentage. For the main stats of the boots, since we are going for so high base speed, we only care about speed. We only want to attack, attack as base stats of the ring and attack as ascension of the ring. Critical damage as ascension and as base stats from the amulet and on the banner we want attack ascension and an attack banner that's a slot set let's just put to uh, salvage we only care about the others 
we don't care. On glyphs, I don't have glyphs, so I won't use nothing. But if you want to use something, use attack, flat, attack percentage, speed, and accuracy. That's everything you need on her. So let's see what we can get. Okay, we found the build. Let's see what we got. Okay, that's it. Let's equip in game. Okay, the red here. Let me save it. RTA by Kurisen. Save a champion preset. We don't have space. Okay. That's the gear we're gonna use on her. 616k attack. 284 speed, 258 critical damage, 100 speed, low amount of HP, low amount of of defense, almost nothing of accuracy because she's baseline, no blessing, and that's it. We are going to use that. Let's test them. On arena. And rattle. We're going to use this team to see what we can get from them. Yeah! She will be protected by Neckert because he got stone skin. So let's start with Hansel. Let's test his A3 here. Interesting animation. <laughs> Not very powerful damage, but he locked at the skills. Let's see her damage here. That was the four. That was four hits. <laughs> that was four hits. Let's see again. I think the Neckert is hitting more than her. Let's see his A2. Attack my enemy two times. Let's go on her. 42k damage on the second hit. The first one was on the UDK. Let's see her A3. This damage <laughs> 7k, 8k. What is that damage? Let's put it a couple on her. Let's try again. Okay, a little better. But her damage seems very, 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 very bad. Like incredible bad. But the animations of Hanzo look very interesting. Let's try again. It doesn't look like she's hitting four times. Let's see day three. 27k. I like the animation here. His animation is really cool. The first impression about Gretel is that she hits like a wet nettle. <laughs> we were facing Harima. And you decay, our tanky team. Let's try again. Let's start with the damage of the A3 of Hanzo. Oh, interesting damage. Her A1. Reaction. Seems like interesting damage from Hanzo. Let me try her now. 
That's a very squishy team. Let me use her a three. Seventy something K. That are very weak teams. Let's try her damage with attack up. Let's see, the A3. 100k. Let's see his A2. Okay, he killed. It doesn't seem like she hits hard enough. It doesn't seem like she hits hard enough. Hanzo seems a little bit better. Okay, they use the AoE. Let me give attack up on her. Let's see the A2. Here. Very squishy opponent. The AoE was a little bit better on the A1. <laughs> the A1 AoEs. <laughs> Look at like the best skill on her kit. Okay, let's try here. Let me try her A2 on a tanker opponent. Twenty K damage. She got the skills again. Let's see the A three. Forty K. The animations are really cool from Hanzo, but Gretel does not seem good at all. Okay, Tata's team. Let's start with Hansos. A2 on her. Exeter and A3. And he's dead. When he's dead, she automatically uses the A3. Now we're going to use the A3 again. And now they too. Okay, we beat this team, but with no confidence at all again. Let's test her AoE. Okay, three survived, so she got her turn meet almost back entirely. <laughs> I like, I like his animation. His animation is the best thing about this duo. Hanzo's animation is the best. Oh, she can even kill Tormi. She can even kill Tormi. Yeah, I feel like her damage is. Not good. Hansel seems a lot better. Okay, we have Yudik and Brutus. She has a triple, a four hit. So one going to be on the Yudik, three on Brutus. Let's see if it's enough. Okay, at least she killed. He he, al contrary, seems a lot more interesting.
the only good thing about her is that she can use the A2 every time she kills someone with the skill. Okay, let's try them in uh, another way. Let's try him on Viverina. Okay, first attempt of testing the siblings. Will they shine or not? Hello, SL Mernak. So far, so good, Terrence. I hope oh, everybody's on stone skin, so we don't have much to do. Let me try to remove them. Okay, we removed three of them. Let me go for Hansel. I'm gonna re try to remove their skills. Let's see her damage here. She was able to kill. <laughs> but she doesn't expire me. A lot of confidence. Oh, I got bullied. Okay. Let's see her damage on a stone skin. Not. Let's get the monkey. Let's see his damage. Half of the stone skin. Oh, they got back. Let me A3. We did not kill them. Not half of the HP. She, she doesn't seem like a hard hitter. <laughs> we don't have the time to play all the time. Her A1, look at her AOE, 6k damage. With attack up. I like Hanso damage, but Gretel's damage. Oi, oi, Frux. Hanso's damage seems like okay. He's plus zero, no empowerment. He's with oh, very good gear. And the damage was okay, but Gretel's damage. Seemed like a, a rare. The skills yet. I need to check them because I didn't. Okay, we are going to play first. Let me try to remove them because everybody's on stone skin. <laughs> okay, we are able to remove some. Since that's the occasion, let's go for her. She has a four feet skills. Let's go for Rotos. Okay, we killed Rotos. Her obligation to do it. It's a 4 hit skills with progressive de increased defense. Decrease defense. Okay. So let me try to remove the skills. And now I want to A2 him. Turn mid back. He got A1. What is he going to do? He only got A1, because Hansel took away his skills. Oh, she ha she had land A3. Okay, we are winning battles with Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to take away their speeds. Oh, they still faster than us. He wicked hit at her. But they also is going to play first. Oh no, we got it, but 
<laughs> she won't. Look at this damage. She's not a good champion. She's not a good champion. No, I did not build her too weak. She's really weak. <laughs> Look at the damage. She she isn't even able to to take half of the HP of a a, a super champion. I think he is not that bad, but she is terrible as a damage dealer. If I had to rate Hansel and Gretel, I would say Hansel is a 4 out of 10 and Gretel is a 2 out of 10. Hansel could be good if he wasn't so in need of Gretel in the same team to, bo to do something useful. If he's, we didn't need to lose points of stats on accuracy to make him work without her, he could be useful because he has a, a very powerful A3 and uh, a usable A2. But she's terrible. She hits like a rare champion. Her kit's not incredible. Doesn't even make that much sense. Is a counter sense to be f to be fair. Uh, mechanics is again uh, uh, mechanics that grant you turn meter when the enemy gets an extra turn. He's going to do his action, and you won't cut him with turn meter if they're already getting an extra turn. So, isn't um, anything too powerful, too broken, or good enough? I would say. So, my answer to the thumbnail: Are they worth? No. Both of them, not worth. But if you want to invest in any of them, at least invest on Hansel, not in Gretel. <laughs> so that's it for today, guys. If you like this kind of content, do not forget to, whoops, here. Da -da -dun -dun. And as always, remember, it's all about arena.